Hey everyone, so my question for today is how many countries have I visited and uh, if I could go to one next year, where would I go and what that ideal season would be? Um, I kind of mentioned this in my where I want to travel question, but I see how this is a little different, it's a little more in depth of to one location. So to answer the first part, technically I've only been to Mexico that is out of the United States. Um, we went, I've been to TJ, Rosarito... Tecate, uh, yeah, not not really too much into Mexico. I didn't, just more near the border. Uh, where I want to go, if I can go anywhere, probably. If I can go anywhere next year, that's a good question. This is where my brain stops me because then I actually try to plan. Hello, hypothetical question. Okay, if I, I guess the first thing that pops to mind is Australia. Australia in the summer, which is interesting because I don't like hot weather. But if I'm going to go somewhere, um, and it would be one place, it would probably be Australia in their summertime. So I want to see, probably, um, let's say, like, Sydney or something in that area. I mean, I'm trying to think of other places. This is what happens. When I get asked a hypothetical question, I literally try to plan it out in my head, and I'll tell myself to stop. Strange. I'm so strange sometimes. Um, I mean, other than Australia, I do want to go to um, Canada. Probably, I don't know, for some reason, I want to go to Canada when it's cold and Australia when it's hot. I don't know why. I guess it just stuff in my head. It's just. I don't know. I have a no real answer to that. But tomorrow's question, what was today? That was like literally a short video. It's okay. These videos are supposed to be short anyway. Um, let's see. There's one question I literally keep knocking down every day because I don't want to answer it. But I will answer it. I mean, it's not that I don't want to answer it. It's just I actually had to think about it. Some of these I just look at the question and the answer and then some of them I'm actually thinking about. Um, so I'm, I don't know if I'm going to answer tomorrow but the one question that I keep pushing down is what's been the one event that has shaped who you are today the most? That's because it's kind of like what I'm thinking is a decision that I made that basically set up everything until now or at least made a big contribution to everything that I am and is now um so I, I might do that one within the next few days I have a few more questions um someone else has PM me questions so I'm going to add them on here and yeah it's been a really crazy few days I hope everyone's doing well if you believe in the whole um mercury and retrograde I do so do a lot of my friends we are all getting our butts kicked like, everything's going wrong, communication is going weird, technology keeps failing, which I'm really good at technology, so it's very strange. Um, my days are just super long and exhausting. I'm tired. I'm just tired. I'm trying not to, like, literally hide from the world right now, but whatever. You carry on. We're almost there. We're almost to the end of it. You have... That's my dad. He's probably gonna just leave that in there because you probably heard him make those noises with the dogs but anyway um it's december 14th and the retrograde ends on the 22nd so we're almost there whoever is feeling it we're almost through it and then it'll be great just if you do believe in it or if you follow it and you're having a lot of communication problems i know personally for me anytime i have a communication problem with anybody that i know um I'm trying to remind myself that that's probably the reason and have a little more patience. All the patience. All the things are going wrong, but I'm having all the patience. I'm going to keep telling myself. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.